Hi, welcome to the six part series called Learning to Love You. I know this is very different than anything I've done before, but this is my ideas about self-respect, self-love or lack of it. Check it out and enjoy. I'd like to talk about something I've hardly ever mentioned publicly. When I was very young and inexperienced, I was swept off my feet by a big romance. It was with a man that was 10 years older than me, and I was just head over heels. I left school and my parents and ran away with him. It was what would become a very hard life with almost no money or security. But the good thing was that off and on, he was a director for a theater company. So I got to work at what I loved, acting and singing. Well, shortly after the life with him began, there were red flags that I was oblivious to. He eventually cut me off from my family, telling me that they didn't appreciate me and that it wasn't good for me to be around them. This included interrupting every trip we would try to make to visit with them, making excuses of some kind as to why we couldn't go. He also cut me off from my closest friends and my sisters, also telling me that they were not good for me to be around. He was critical and controlling of everything I did and eventually convinced me that I couldn't do anything right, that I needed to be with him to survive. This is what I understand now is truly an abusive relationship. Aside from the emotional and mental abuse, he also physically abused me at times. Eventually, he found a new victim, fell in love, and completely dumped me. For a few days, I didn't realize how lucky I was that the door was open and I could get out of there. It was incredibly painful to have no job, no home, no family. I was homeless for six months. And then with the help of my friends and my family, I began a new life. If anything in this story sounds familiar to you, don't second guess yourself. Tell someone close to you and try to get some professional help. I had to do it on my own and it was not easy. It took a lot of time, but after I got out of there, I realized how incredibly strong I am. 